fight that I really didn't really give a fuck about, to be honest. I mean, I did expect for Jake Paul to lose if they did fight in the ring. And if you want me to say it straight from the beginning, I feel I feel that Jake Paul and his team wanted a way out. And remember, he already said Jake Paul already said that his team didn't want him to take the fight. Even the athletic commission didn't want him to take the fight. And with this whole, you know, weight thing, I understand that I seen Rockman signed the contract. You signed the contract. That's why I never got involved in all that catch weight, Manny Pacquiao shit. You know how he was saying he was catch weighting everybody? And oh, if he would have fought Cotto at the real weight and all that. I never got into that because at the end of the day, these are grown ass men. They signed the contract. You signed the contract. You know, so... The, the the issue with Hussein Rahman is the commission, New York State Athletic Commission, saw that he was struggling to cut weight bad. And he and you know, he does have a reputation that's been floating around out there that he doesn't do his best in training. So he wasn't really, really I mean, you know, he's a heavyweight. And from when looking at his box rec, the lowest he's been in his career was about two hundred and twelve pounds or so. And you're asking a guy who never went to 200 pounds to be at 200 pounds for a fight that was what on five weeks notice or something like that. Now, Jake Paul and his team knew what they were doing. You know, they're the A side. So if they're fighting finally their first natural boxer, then they want to make sure he has no extra advantages at all. But let's go listen to some of the stuff that came out over the weekend. Here's what uh, Jake Paul had to say for those who didn't get a chance to listen. Alrighty, folks, emergency press conference. You may have seen the news. Hasim Rockman Jr. has pulled out of the fight. This is not a joke. I am devastated. I cannot fucking believe this. We just found out this news. And it, this is just another case of a professional boxer, just like Tommy Fury, being scared to fight me. It's as clear as day that these guys have been so unprofessional to work with, looking for any excuse to suck more money out of this event. To, to coerce us into doing things. And from the jump, I knew in the bottom of my heart that this guy didn't want to get into the ring with me. It's as clear as day. Here's what happened, long story short. So he signed a contract to fight me at 200 pounds and was gonna cut the weight down to 200 pounds. This is not a big cut for him, right? He's a big guy with a ton of weight to lose. So he sent a video into the commission the first time he weighed in at 216 pounds. The commission wanted to track his weight cut to make sure he was doing it in a healthy way. Three weeks later, the commission asked him for an update on his weight. He sends a video weighing 215 pounds, meaning in three weeks, he only lost one pound. So the commission was like, hey man, you're not cutting the weight properly. We don't want you to lose it all in the last day. We're gonna have to change this fight to 205 pounds. My team calls me up. They're like, hey, man, do you want to change? The, they want to change the weight to 205 pounds. That's a big difference. You normally fight at 190 pounds. Do you want to do the fight still? I said, no problem. Let's do it. 205 pounds. He's going to have, he already has a weight advantage, height advantage, reach advantage, all of these things, but whatever. I know I can still beat his ass at 205 pounds. And that was that. We move forward. And then today, out of nowhere, his team calls and says, Hasim's not going lower than 215 pounds. If the fight's not at 215 pounds, then we're pulling out. My manager goes, fuck you guys. You're not in control of this. We already agreed to five more pounds. He is a big guy, losing 10 pounds. Everyone knows in the sport of boxing that is an easy weight cut. People do that. UFC champions cut 25 pounds overnight to make weight. A 10 pound weight cut for a heavyweight is nothing. This is clearly an excuse. So they say, okay, the fight's not at 215, we're out. The biggest payday of his lifetime. There it is a part two. Let him finish up, but then we're going to listen to uh, Hasim's take. We're out. Starts to say, okay, the fight's not at 215. We're out. The biggest payday of his life times 10. And he's fumbling it. For what? Because he knows he's going to get knocked out by me. The pressure starts to set in. And it's exactly what happens with all of these guys, same shit with Tommy Fury. I'm sick of it, I'm devastated. I apologize to everyone on the undercard. Amanda Serrano, I know you were working hard. Ashton Silva, I know you were working hard. This is absurd. There's nothing I can do about it. I apologize to the fans and uh, I'll be back at some point. 
Now, here's my thoughts. Um, Jake Paul has a lot of fans, okay? And um, he's also amassed a nice hardcore boxing um, following. You know, you got a hardcore boxing fans who really ride, ride with him. But understand that he's a salesman and he knows what he's doing when he's doing all this stuff. It's, it's, you know, it's by design. So with his large fan base, he is trying to control the narrative. But in the world today, I am entitled to my opinion. And if you don't like it, that's fine. Remember, we are not always supposed to agree. We're not always going to agree. There's going to be, and I say this all the time, there's going to be sometimes you're going to be like, yo, man, this T-Street guy knows what he's talking about. He cool. There's going to be other times you're going to be like, this guy's a fucking dickhead. Like, you know, no wonder why he's this and that. You know, I get it all the time. The point is, I don't think that the tickets were doing well. I don't think that the pay-per-view was trending well. And then there was the possibility of him getting knocked out. And it's not like um, his pay-per-views haven't been dipping with each fight. Pay-per-view numbers. You know, he's somewhat still, even though he wants to take it seriously, I commend Jake Paul for that. He wants to be seriously, take this serious, serious. And if you also don't know, the WBC was about to give him a ranking at Cruiserweight. But I think that Hussein Rahman gave them the reason that they needed to be like, you know what? Listen, we're pulling out this shit. Hussein Rahman, though, he's losing his big payday. And he's probably going to fade off into obscurity. Um, I'm not sure if we'll see him and Jake Paul fight, you know, because Jake Paul can, you know, for example, there's that talk of after Nate Diaz's fight. Um, what is that? Two UFC 279 or 280? Well, anyway, he's pretty much getting fed to the Wolves. And after that fight, it's a good chance that we can see Jake Paul versus Nate Diaz. Even Showtime is already kind of, you know, talking about it. So my personal opinion is I really don't think that, you know, they had every right to stop the fight and, you know, to be like, you know what? Y'all don't control anything. Who are you, you know, to think you're going to be calling the shots here? Let's go listen to a little bit of it. Wait, I'm pretty sure I pulled it up. This was from the Zoom call. This is the manager. They lowballed him so crazy, so crazy when they offered Tommy Fury two million dollars and they offer my man 250 that's like spinning his fucking face and then you want him to come down to 200 pounds but you did sign the contract i mean there's contracts are out there you sign it that's what you do uh but then you are going to go back on some of the stipulations that were in the contract I didn't go, this is the thing i didn't go back on it i wasn't the one that, that asked for the weight checks i didn't ask for the weight checks i never agreed to do no weight checks Mm -hmm. I never uh, uh, agreed to have my weight monitored for all the entirety of the camp. I didn't know that was what was going to happen. Well, um, was that in the contract? I mean, it's not something no, as your team should look over. I mean, your contracts are not, contracts. I mean, what, what do you want me to do, even though it's not in the contract? What do you want me to do not hop on the scale and cancel the fight three, four weeks out? Mm -hmm. That's crazy. They lowballed him so crazy. Come from very different backgrounds. Obviously, we've got the boxing pedigree. A couple years ago, this guy is a YouTuber. We we know the backstories. Any regret? Any regret in your mind? Even you know, getting in and wanting to do business with Jake Paul. Um, you know, the the, the only thing the only thing um I could really say is I had a I had a, a tremendous amount of respect for what he what he was doing, um, and what he's done. until I got on the inside and now I see how you know how many strings can be my bad that was me my bad Poor and all this different type of stuff that he tries to do to give himself an advantage and him not really giving a fair shake um also with his comments about um trying to pretty much blackball me from boxing telling people not to do any fights with me I'm a young black fight well I'm not that young no more. I'm 31 years old, but uh, I'm, I'm a black fighter in America. And, um, you know, I, I don't know how he feeds his. I'm not no YouTuber, but th this is my this is what my family eats off of. This is what I've been uh, what our family has been eating off of for decades now. 
So um, for him to do that, I lost a tremendous amount of respect for him. And um, I, now uh, it will be my it will be my goal for him not to see the final bell. It will be a personal goal for him not to see the final bell if we ever get in there. Throughout this whole promotion, um, I said I could knock him out. I could knock him out. I may, I may knock him out. Maybe a knockout. I don't really know what's going to happen. Um, but now, given his new antics, if he ever gets in the ring with me, he's not going to see the final bell. And one more from me. What What would you say to Jake? If Jake was going to watch this, what's your message to Jake Paul? Uh, Jake's a... <laughs> Uh, just, just stop being scared, Jake. We got a lot of people out there watching us. We got a lot of people out there to look up to you. A lot of people out there to look up to me. Stop being scared. Be a man. Put the gloves on. Um, you know, it, it, it's, stop being scared. It's, it's that simple. You get in a fight with a real fighter, man. Get in there, uh, get your ass whooped, and then go ahead back to YouTube. I don't know. Um, you know, my opinion still stands. He signed the contract for the weight. Even though I feel that Jake Paul won it out, you know, or not him, but his team, you know, because it was, you know, high risk, low reward, you know, and then, you know, there was a lot of money involved, you know, in Jake Paul's future. You know, they couldn't have him losing to this dude, especially when this dude's going to weigh what he wants to weigh. You can't, you know, you can't argue that. That can't be argued. But I'm wondering now if they were to fight, you know, and it gets rescheduled. You know, it will it will it contribute to some better sales? Like, do you want to? Here's the question: Do you want to see it more now? You know, like, okay, you know what? Now I kind of have some interest in this. <clears throat> I mean, I do. I still want to see it. You know, in fact, I would rather see him over Tommy Fury. Tommy Fury was only there because of the name. You know, and Tommy Fury, he's not. You know, like in my opinion, he's not good. But I do feel that once Jake Paul runs into a boxer like a Asim Rahman or even a Tommy Fury, for example, Tommy Fury is dreadful to me. But I still would support and think that Tommy Fury will beat um, Jake Paul because he is from a boxing family. He's a boxer, even though he's part celebrity, too, over there. You know, Love Island and all that shit. He is a boxer. And my opinion is that the fight wasn't doing well this time around. And Haseem Rahman and his team gave him reason, you know, to, gave them reason to be like, you know what? Here we are bending over ass backwards for you. You know, meaning Jake Paul team to a seam rock mine and you can't make weight, you know, and you're not even really showing that you're trying to make weight. But, you know, I was still support it, though. Let me see if I can pull up this. Uh, let me see if I can pull up something else here. Here, check this out from BJ Flores, who's also in the camp of uh, Jake Paul. Here's what he posted. It was 30 pounds. Why make him lose all that weight? Just stop. The video was sent to us on July 7th by Team Rockman as proof he can make the weight in 30 days. 16 pounds in over 30 days is very possible. 25 days later, Team Rockman refuses to come in below 215. Stop with the excuses. Let's look at this clip. Oh, let me turn that down. So it's showing him weighing in. Y'all think he was frightened with the weight? I'm like doing some bullshit. say 217 this was on july the 7th i mean here's the thing going into the fight though we were hearing about that um haseem rahman had some issues with being called a lazy fighter what up leonardo compass vasquez um i want chavez jr versus jake paul oh i would love that i would love chavez jr versus jake paul but chavez jr is going through some shit right now you know I don't, you know, I don't even think he can box, but I would love it. I even sent Chavez Jr. a DM on Instagram. No bullshit about the fight. He didn't respond. One night years and years ago, he responded. 
I forgot what I asked him. And sometimes he will respond to fans. And I asked him something and he responded in some, some more weird shit. But I don't know, man. I'm not, you know. And also, um, about Serafina, um, one of his co-promoters or co-manager, whoever she is. Listen, I'm not trying to hear shit about, you know, him being low-balled and they offered Tommy Fury a million dollars. They only offered um, the same Rockman Jr. $250,000. It's a big difference. Tommy Fury has some profile. The same Rockman, just because he's the same Rockman's son, doesn't mean he had a profile over here. And also, you signed the contract. Don't start bitching now about the money. Like, I'm not trying to hear none of that shit. Fans are not trying to hear none of that shit. But at the end of the day, you know, enough about that. The fight has been postponed. And, uh, you know, I'm not really confident that it can be revisited. Because what? It's still going to have to be at 200 pounds. You know, and here, let's go look at um, Hassim Rahman's uh, box rec before we, um, before we go and talk about um, the return of Virgil Ortiz Jr., he had a Zoom card earlier today. But look, here is uh, Masim Rahman's uh, box wreck. His last fight, this last April, he was 224. Last year, a year ago, he was uh, 215, 224. It says here, he said he never waited in no 269. But box wreck has it here at 269. 231, the lowest he's been was um, basically 212, 211 and a quarter, 211 three quarters. So naturally, if you were to round this off, he's about a 220-pound fighter, 225-pound fighter. So trying to get down to 200 pounds would have probably severely handicapped him, handicapped him. But also, you know, he don't probably have the money to pay for someone to help him lose the weight properly. He's a heavyweight. Heavyweights don't be worrying about or, or don't worry about cutting weight or maybe not know how to cut weight like, you know, um, um, fighters in lower divisions who have to live their whole life around cutting weight. And Jake Paul is the last person to be speaking on that because he's not a boxer and he fights at his walk around weight. You know, so for him to talk about how UFC fighters do it. And let me tell you something, them UFC fighters, they be damn near getting ready to kill themselves. Go look at when Cyborg was over there, when they literally like went through how she cut weight. That cutting weight shit ain't easy, especially when you're a guy. And the, and the New York State Athletic Commission, they probably seen, you know, that like, wait a minute, this is a heavyweight. Whatever he's doing, he ain't doing it right. So let's make sure he's not going to do no dumb shit and try to cut weight and damn near kill himself trying to get on the scale. You see what I'm saying? 